What about the myth of tiki-taka? I saw a quote from uh, Pep Guardiola. He used some words which I can't use on public television, but in a nutshell, he's saying it's a, it's a myth because tiki-taka implies that you're passing it for the sake of passing it, not passing it for a purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, tiki-taka, if you translate the word, it's like saying uh, for me to you, you know, to you, to but me. There you, know? you go. Uh, tiki-taka, mm -hmm. that's the whole thing. But, you know, Guardiola is saying that, okay, who, who are we to question Guardiola? I think he's probably the best coach we have in this world at the moment, based on the results he's had. Um, but also, I think football is all about the culture. People have the, ways, the way they play their own football based on the culture of the country and the way the people mm. see life. And the Spanish people, uh, it's kind of like the national team and the clubs, they play more like futsal, like as if it's an indoor football. Mm. It's from me to you in short movements in little spaces. But they need to play like that because it goes with the physiognomy of the physique of the people mm. who are from Spain. Not the tallest. They're not the tallest, so they cannot afford to, like the English would say, just shell it, you know, <laughs> just, you know, forward and all that. Whereas if you're playing against the WBA, you know, West, uh, West, West Brom, West Brom Albion, and then you, or you're playing against the Swedes or the Icelandish, you know, they are big strikers, you know, you pull it, they win the aerial ball, there's somebody to take up the second ball, that works in like that. Spain, if they don't play Tiki Taka, they struggle. In fact, one of the antidotes to beating the Spanish football is trying to get them not to be able to play the tiki-taka. Mm -hmm. Well, what about when you... Sorry, you were about to say? Yeah, I understand. I, I agree with uh, Guardiola because they have a purpose when they play football. They, if they pass the ball like this, it's because there's no space. Because trust me, if the space is, it's one, two passes, mm. boom, they go. So if they keep the ball, it's because, you know, they're not... They're clever players. They're not going to lose the ball to lose the ball. So they play, they keep the ball. And I agree with him when he say we're not passing for passing. It's not like to make how many, you know, record of passes. <laughs> it's just because they don't have the space. And when the space is there, they play the ball. Yeah. So um, I, I agree with him. It's a little bit annoying to, to say this. The okay. actual passing, mm -hmm. if I may just come in quickly, mm -hmm. there, the actual passing that they're doing, like Jibril is, is, say, is laying out now, is like the purpose is, like we just showed in the clip earlier on, we move it around ourselves one to the other, waiting to have that opportunity mm -hmm. to hurt you with a pass that is going deep in. Okay. We're making it wide, you know, and we're looking, like he said, about sleeping. We're waiting for one of your players to not take up his responsibility and be sleeping in a horizontal pole, deep place, the ball mm -hmm. goes in. That's it. So they're not just passing because they want to count mm -hmm. the passes. No, no, no. The aim is move the opposition to find way forward.